I am going to be in so much trouble at work. Samantha is going to kill me. Didn't you hear my phone ringing all afternoon? I didn't hear anything. Now listen, their word is out on the street that Jones and Scott are targeting some of our clients. Now we have to watch our backs, okay? We can't trust that our girls are gonna stay. Uh, uh, we just need to hustle more, um, more parties, more ass kissing. More yes, that would be good, but the problem is our roster, all right? Now we need some new blood, all right? We need her, Taylor Michaels. <laughs> she sounds like a porn star. Yeah. Well, she's a porn star who's sucking the right cock. She just booked a Pepsi campaign. On top of that, she's the spokesperson for the new Candy Shoes ad. Well, do we know who's dropping her? Well, right now she's at Jones and Scott, but word on the street is she is looking. So she's a jumper. They book her on two big gigs and she puts the feelers out. And it's perfect. Exactly. What we have going for us is loyalty. Our girls have stuck with us for five and six years. Exactly, three years past their prime. I want Taylor Michaels as our client! That was the point of this meeting? You could have put that in an email. Not the point, Sammy. We need our FaceTime all right now. That is the benefit of a small agency. Well, let's get cracking, ladies! All right, let's get this over with. I don't have time to spend all day wrapping magazine shoes. Taylor, sweetie, you gotta keep your fans happy. You know those drunken college guys love these layouts. Whatever. Will you get that goddamn fan out of my face? Jesus Christ! God, what the fuck are you doing? Jesus. Looks like things are going swimmingly, James. Samantha? Miss Michaels, it appears that you're not happy with your current representation. I work with David Vicklin over at Blackthorn Agency. Damn it, Jesus. Will you ever, ever let up, people? Ever? James, I'm done with this bullshit. Call me when you book me a decent gig, all right? Right? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to call you back. Absolutely, bye. Hey, Bailey, what's up? Sorry to barge in without an appointment. No worries, we work for you, remember? True. Listen, I overheard Samantha today. I'm so sorry about that. It was completely unprofessional. No, no, don't order. apologize. She's right. I have been letting myself go a bit. <laughs> I guess this new relationship I have has me a, a bit more comfortable. You really do not need to apologize. I just want you to know that it's on my radar, and I'm going to do something about it. The last thing I would want is to have Sammy try and sabotage me. Could you do me a favor? gets this? Just a little gift. Um, that is seriously the strangest thing I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> is it a cactus? I'm not sure. I have one and I love it. But you know, it really becomes beautiful when it grows. Okay, I'll make sure she gets it. Thanks. Um, and you guys should give me a call sometime. 
time. Let's hang out. You know it doesn't always have to be about work. We could do a girls' night or something. Yeah, we should. Mm, I'd like that. That was freaking weird. It really was, wasn't it? Bailey Rogers has been a pain in my ass since she signed. She, she's such a high maintenance diva. I know, but look how nice she just was. All right, girls' night out my ass. One, one night I was trying to get into Winston's and she was inside and she pretended not to know me. Well, maybe she had a change of heart. Maybe. This thing is pretty dumb looking. <laughs> it's one of those trendy new things that Chinese or Japanese or some shit, or some feng shui nonsense. You know, if it's feng shui, it would have to be Chinese. Whatever. So do you have any plans for tonight? <sighs> Got a date. But if it's anything like the last one, I'll be calling you at around nine just to put an end to the boredom. Roger stopped by. She wanted me to bring you this. What is it? I don't know. Some sort of feng shui thing. Yeah, is that it? Um, no. She also wanted me to tell you that she is going to drop the pack. Oh, good. But tell her not to do one of those stupid diets that's gonna fuck her skin. I heard Trey Atkins get no self reach. Okay. I'll pass the information along. Anything else? No, that's it. Right. and she's a fucking idiot! Fuck.
where's this going? It's going wherever we want it to go. Well, we've been dating for six months now, and I barely see you once a week. Babe, I travel for work. You know that. I know. It's, it's, it's just, it's weird, and... Well, you never invite me to come along. On uh, business? No. Business is business. But... I could, I could meet you. I have vacation time coming up, and I wouldn't be a burden, I promise. I could go shopping while you have your meetings. Where's this coming from? You said you have a condo in Santa Monica, but I've never been there. Okay, look, you're being paranoid and silly. You know I like the restaurants in Hollywood better. Besides, I don't want you to drive down there. Look, you're making a big deal out of nothing, really. I don't think I am. Look, I think we just need to take this slow right now. What? I just don't want to rush into anything too serious. I don't know what I'm asking. I just, I know it's too soon for anything crazy. Well, I don't think things like moving in together and engagements are crazy. You really want to move in with me? Yeah, someday. Are you leaving? I got a 6 a.m. to Phoenix. I can take you. Babe, I still got a pack. It, you don't want to go all the way down to LAX. Look, that's what company cars are for. When do you come back? Thursday. Call you from the road. Take anything you want. I it. don't want your fucking stuff. Okay? I'm here to warn you. Because if you don't warn other people, there'll be nobody like you left. Who? Them. I don't know who they are. But they have a plan. What do they look like? That's just it. They look like anybody. They look like me. Like you. You don't know who they are. Oh, God. He took her. He took her. It looks just like her, but it's not her. I know it's not her. Just, just let me go get you some don't help. fucking move. They tapped my phones. They've infiltrated the fucking police. They're everywhere. You can't trust anyone. That meteor shower tonight, that was them. <laughs> you see, we have to stop them. Just, I, I could just go get you some help. Stop, you can't, you can't help me. Okay, nobody can help me. I have to stop them, okay? I am gonna stop them. I'm gonna stop you.
this is a gun that would fit in your purse. I don't really want to carry it with me. I just want to have it at home for protection, you know? Okay. Are you familiar with guns at all? No. Maybe you should think about a shotgun. It only shoots in four directions, north, south, east, and west. west. Well, what about that one? This is a very good gun. This is a Beretta. It's used by police forces around the world. Can I touch it? Yeah, it's quite heavy. I do not understand why you feel the need to stalk me at work. Because you won't answer my MySpace messages. You are seriously the only woman I know who's on MySpace more than a 15-year-old girl. I know, but I'm bored and it's fun. I thought being self-employed would mean that I'd have all this freedom, but it just, it just makes me realize that I'm lazy. How's work? It's awful. Samantha is so horrible to me. Yeah, she's a cunt. I hate that word. But I guess you're right. I mean, it is the only one that accurately describes her. Yeah, she's fucking evil. I mean, you know, you are never, ever going to have a boss as amazing as me. True. Mm -hmm. You are a tough act to follow. But unfortunately, the two soap actors you have don't make enough to support the both of us. You should really go out on your own. I mean, all the clients there, they can't stand Samantha or Vicland. If you went, they'd be with you like that. Yeah, but that's not me. I can't take people's clients and contacts. It's, it's just unethical, and I'd feel dirty. Oh, honey, we all need to get a little dirty sometimes. <laughs> you need to, like, check his email or, or follow him or something. Why would I do that? Because he's hiding something. I mean, he could be leading a double life. Seriously, a double life? He could have a wife and kids somewhere, or, or at least another girlfriend. You might be on to something. Absolutely. We saw him shopping next week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm actually still dating that guy in the band. I need to get some trashy lingerie. Isn't he like 21 <laughs> or something? 19. Good I just, um, I don't understand why you had to say that to me. No, I'm not drunk. Fuck you. Why can't you say you love me? You were such a fucking asshole!
Oh, this is so high. I, I tried to call you earlier. Well, I'm sorry I never called you back. That's all right. Listen, can we talk in private? Someone? Sure. I was just going to get some water in there. So you have a rough night? I don't really remember. Um, he may have been great. We may have slept together. I, if he calls back, I'll let you know. You're seriously too wild. It hurt. All right, I have some more information on your case. Really? Okay. Yeah, it turns out uh, Zach Richardson, the man we found dead on your floor, he was married. He was as in now he's divorced? Unfortunately, no. It was as in we found her body. Gunshot wound. Oh, my God. Well, we also discovered a connection between Zach Richardson and one of your clients. They were very close. Bailey Rogers. So jog your memory. Do you remember spending any time with Zach Richardson or his wife? Not that I can remember. You don't think I had anything to do with this, do you? I'm trying to follow up every lead on this one. It's my job. I'm trying to figure this thing out and protect you. Protect me? Protect me from who? I'm sorry, look. Think about it. If you remember anything, call me. Oh, and if I call you, Please call back. I will. I'm sorry. Melissa, can you please come to my office? Sure thing. I wonder what the lady wants. I don't know. She's gonna read me for something. Buck. Good morning. Good morning. Have a seat. Okay. Thanks. So, what did you do last night? Um, well, I did get a chance to go over the mailer for Vic Landon. Not work stuff. What did you do? I had dinner with my friend Louise. Louise Taunton? God, I haven't seen her in ages. How is she? She's fine. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I feel fine. Why do you ask? I I'm just really, really happy today, and it's not... You know, I just, I feel wonderful, actually. You know, I was just thinking, you know, we don't never really talk. I mean, we know each other, but we don't know each other. I'd like to change that. Yeah, sure, great. Okay, well, um, why don't we blow up the afternoon? We can grab a bite to eat, go shopping. I've got the company card. <laughs> shopping on the corporate card, no, Vicklin would flip. Oh, oh. Vicklin's a pussycat, I'll take care of him. Uh, it's Vic Lind on line two. Okay, I'll get it. Do you mind giving me a couple minutes? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. And I'll call you when we're ready to go. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. Yes? <sighs> What'd she want? To go shopping? What? I know, it's so weird. Something isn't right. Maybe she's gonna fire you. Billy! Or, or maybe she's worried she's gonna get fired. She wants some intel. I don't know, but the entire thing makes me so uncomfortable. It's downright creepy. Hey, Melissa. Think we're gonna walk this before we go. Are you ready? Yeah, I'll be right down. That doesn't even sound like her. She usually sounds like a Nazi. Have fun. You want to see us? Yes, yes, yes. Sit down. I don't know if I can stress just how important tonight is. Now, somehow Samantha has been able to organize this whole thing, and what I guess I'm really trying to say is... Don't fuck up! Hmm? 
We won't. She's a model. We do a couple of lines and we talk about her all night. The deal is as good as done. Funny. I'm serious. And so are we. It's as good as done. small talk or beating around the bush. Samantha called me a few days ago and she sold me. I tore up my contract this morning. Nice. Ladies, it's congratulations. sorority girl, not one of the world's biggest models. Billy, she's happy. Don't judge. Seriously, I, I bet there's some freaky Scientology shit going down. What do you mean? Two models, well known for being complete divas, are the coolest chicks I've met in LA. And our boss, who usually rides a broom to work, is buying everybody drinks and tearing up the dance floor with guys she usually smells. Okay, I'll admit it's a bit off. Think about it. It's all too weird. It's too coincidental. I don't trust it. Maybe we're just too jaded, you know? Too cynical for our own good. Maybe they really are happy people. Please. What did the guy say, the guy who worked in your house? Billy, I don't want to talk about it. No, you told me the next day. You said he was rambling on about people not being who they say they are. Yeah, but he was a nut. <laughs> Sure, but, but maybe he was on to something. I don't think it's witchcraft or anything, but maybe it's some stupid New Age bullshit. You are seriously overreacting. Am I? Right, we're with a group of models, and our boss, who we know, is a complete cokehead, and I've got an eight ball in my purse, and not one of them is asking for it. They could have their own. Whatever. Who are you ladies dancing? We will, we're just relaxing. Actually, I'm gonna call it a night. The world famous party girl is calling it a night. Yeah, I, I've got some contracts to repair in the morning. All right, well, we'll miss you. See you tomorrow. No, no just, I'm just gonna finish oh, my drink. Come on. Come on. Whoa, I'm a lot drunker than I thought. It's all right. We'll have fun. Get your drink. Come on. It's not gonna kill you. Yeah, lighten up. I don't think your boss will be disappointed if you're a bit late tomorrow. <laughs> We're celebrating. And you know what the boss man said? Mm -hmm. Everyone needs to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Fine, but this is the last one. one. A gift. right? They do grow into beautiful, beautiful things. It's 
changed my life. So, <laughs> this whole personality change is from the plant? <laughs> it's not that simple. You'll see. You'll understand <laughs> how marvelous it is. We'll see. Into that sort of thing, you know? Neither was I. <laughs> right, the plan. <laughs> Perhaps. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna go get some water. There's nothing wrong with new experiences, new ideas, new ways of thinking. Don't you think I'm pretty? Of course. I, I think you're beautiful. I do last night. I was a bike brigade last night. I don't want to talk about it. That is not the response of someone who went to bed shortly after I did. Detective Alexander, please. Yeah, I'll hold. Hey, listen, I think you're right. About what? What we talked about last night. Have Samantha really given me one of those plants yet? One of those ugly feng shui ones? No. Detective, hi, it's Melissa. Right. No, no, I'm sorry I never called you back. Listen, can you meet up? Uh, no, I really cannot talk about it over the phone. The station, no. Can we meet somewhere else? Yeah, no, I know that place. Okay, an hour and a half. I'll see you then. Bye. What is up with you? Last night, Samantha gave me one of those plans. This morning, I dumped it down the drain, and I killed it. 
so you killed the ugly plant. I'm sure if you liked it, she can get you another one. It was screaming. What? The thing was, I was screaming while I was killing it. <laughs> well, you did have a wild night. Listen, if they give you one of those things, you have to kill it. I, I'm serious. Hey, I told you I didn't think this was witchcraft. Now, if you're saying that you think it is, I don't know what you're talking about. Because... Morning, Sam. What you got there? Well, I didn't want you to feel left out. I'm sure that unless I was going to mention that I gave her one. She mentioned it. Well, there you go. Thanks. Me too. Well, you two get back to work. And if you want to grab a bag, give me a call. Will do. Screaming plants and me fucked the boss. Shaping up to be a weird day. Just get rid of that thing. I'll throw it in the trap. No, I'm serious. Get rid of it now. Calm down. Where are you going? I've got to go. I'm meeting the detective. I'll call you when I find out more. I will be careful, I guess. Hey, Casey, can you see if the print runs for me? I don't have to run an errand. You know I don't get paid enough to do my job and your fucking job, Melissa. It's a really simple thing. Then why don't you do it? Are you having a bad day? No, not at all. What if I buy you a coffee when I'm on my way back? Bribe me with a $2 fucking coffee to do your job. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye. Casey. Has Samantha bought you one of those little plants yet? Yeah, didn't you get one? Oh, yeah, I love it. Is it growing enough for you? Yeah, yeah, it's doing great, thanks. Good. Very good. This is work. This is work, isn't it? Of course. I, look, I don't even know where to begin. I, um, well, I've seen that man twice from the incident at my house. Who, Zach Richardson? Yeah, I've seen him twice, and he's alive. You know, Melissa, it's, it's not uncommon for people to hallucinate when they've been through a traumatic experience like you have. No, trust me, this is real. All right, what else? Well, people are starting to act really strange at work, and I don't know, you're gonna think I'm crazy. No, 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 go ahead. It's really not gonna make any sense to you. Come on, try. What is, what is this? Can you just run some tests on the blood for me? Sure, but whose, whose blood is it? Thing, I think it might be mine. Yours? Are you sure you want to see a therapist, Melissa? I, I, I can get you one for free. No, I don't need that. Look, I, I feel like you and I have a connection of sorts. I, I don't know what it is, but I trust you. Maybe it's the badge. I don't know. Go ahead. People, they're just, they're starting to act really strange, you know? And, I think what Zach told me is true. I think it has something to do with the church and, and with those plants. Plants? Just hear me out for a second, okay? So, these people, they, they give you a plant, and when it grows, it does something to you, and what that is, I, I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet, but it changes your personality, and they, they just start acting completely opposite from what they once were. And they're sexually aggressive and vacant, and somehow they're all connected. Do, do you know any of these plant people? 
definitely my boss and some coworkers, maybe my boyfriend, I don't know. Do you think you can get me one of these plants? I, I wouldn't know how. Try. Does this mean that you believe me? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm just collecting evidence once I have to have the facts before I jump to any conclusions. Just get me one of those plants. I'll try. Thanks. Thursday. Oh, and then I come home and there's these flowers. And I, no, no, they were not here when I left this morning. Right, right, yeah, no, I'll, I'll ask him when he calls. Right. Okay. Yeah, thanks. All right, bye. You're freaking me out. No, Andrew, I don't I don't really want you to come over right now. I need to see you. Okay, but just not now. Did you have fun last night? With you? Yeah. No, not with me. The girls. How did you know about that? I'm sure you mentioned it. No. No, I didn't. I know for a fact that I didn't. I'm coming over. I won't be here. in the area, and I thought I would stop by. Um, this is really unexpected, and I was actually kind of in the middle of something, but maybe I can call you back, or no, I was really, really hoping to talk to you. I'll just take a few minutes. Um, okay, but this is really bad timing. I understand. Just talk to me. Okay, come in. some old paperwork. You know how I hate a cluttered desk? See inside. You know, if you didn't like my gift, you could have just said so. No offense, but it smelled a little weird. When I tried to move it, I pricked my finger. So I'm not a fan. But it grows. It becomes very beautiful. I'm sure it does. Thanks. Sorry if I offended you. No worries. Can I offer you something to drink? I thought you didn't have any time. I really don't. I'm just being polite. I'm actually expecting somebody. Like I said, this won't take long. Melissa, in life, there are simple choices and there are hard ones. And sometimes the hardest thing about making a decision 
is now recognizing. This really doesn't seem like it's going to be a quick conversation. Obviously, we know what happened here this morning. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Like I said, there are easy decisions and there are hard decisions. You think pretending we're stupid is an easy decision. It's not. And quite frankly, it's making it harder than it needs to be. Making what harder? The transition to enlightenment and self-understanding. There are so many things that just don't matter to us. Things that you spend your entire lives worrying about. Can you just give me one second? Pete? Hi, how are you? Good. It is. So it was mine. Great. Um, do you think you can come over now? Don't have the cop come over, Melissa. It's only gonna make things worse. How do you know who it is? <laughs> no, you know what? Um, I'm actually fine. So I, I'll just give you a call later. Okay, bye. Why don't you tell me who the hell you are? All your questions will be answered, Melissa. But trying to explain it in your present state just is a complete waste of time. This is the answer to all of your questions. Just go with it. It's nature. It's evolution. No. Get that thing out of my house. This thing belongs here, Melissa. You're the one out of place. Don't delay the inevitable. Life is way too short to be dealing with all this freaky shit. I ever told that I blew Vicklin to get my job because I know how Andrew likes that schoolgirl outfit. What else do you need to know? Okay. Wait, what, what is that? How, how do we know that? Don't worry. I'm taking this with me. I'm going to have it looked at. Both of you should stay here. 
I'll call you when I find out what this thing is. And lock the door this time. Bailey Rogers came over today. She threatened me, and she brought one of those things with her. Mm -hmm. I threatened you how? Billy, they're... They're these things. When I killed that plant this morning, its blood was my blood. And you're saying that these plants are somehow affecting people's minds and making them different? I don't know. I, maybe when the plants grow, they become people and they look just like you and me. All right, we need to get out of here. What if these things are everywhere? We, we don't know who to trust. Maybe it's just limited to people we know. Maybe if we get out of the city, lay low for a while, they won't find us. What yes. if they're in every city? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Grab your shit, we're going. I can't, I called Louise. Call Louise from the road, let's go. No, let's just wait. I'm not waiting. When she shows up, just, just call me and tell me where you are. Where are you gonna go? I'll just tell you when you call me. Okay. Hello? Luis, thank God, where are you? Okay, come pick me up. plants that they, they no, keep... I, I got that part but they're replacing people yes I mean the people they still seem real but but they're not or maybe they are in the plants just change them I, I really I don't know I I see why are we here we need to be somewhere safe where people can help you you're upset. We want to help you, Melissa. God, I thought you were my best friend. I am your friend. That's why we care enough to make sure that you do this right. Why? Why are you doing this? We want to help. to remove any, any pain and suffering and, and doubts that you harbor. Imagine a world that we all share. Oh, that, that there's no conflict because we're all one. There's no one person that's any better or smarter or richer than any other. It's a utopia. A utopia that you can belong to. No, I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. Accept it. Want it. There's no place for someone like you in this world. Everyone will be us. It's inevitable. No. No, I won't. I won't be a part of it. No, not you too. Get inside! No, they might still be in there. Then I'll shoot them too! They tapped my phones. I don't know how they did it, but they did. Who are you going to call? Listen, I have friends richer than me. I'll take you. All right, well, hold up there until we can figure out what the hell is going on here. Tyler, it's David. Hey, what's up? Listen to me. I have a situation, all right? A friend and I need to come up there and stay with you for a while. Sure, David. Any time. Okay, good. Now, listen to me very carefully. You cannot tell anybody that I'm there. Do you understand? Of course. Good, all right, now give me those directions again. Why do you need to come up here? Listen, I can't talk about this on the phone, okay? Why don't you just stay there? Because I can't. But they can help you, David. They? 
Who saved? What do you mean? Who can help me? David, David, hang up the phone. No, he's one of them. Is that Melissa? How the fuck do you know who Melissa is? David, hang it up. Hang it up now. You sons of bitches! Billy, she's still one of us. We have to call her. She's on her way out. All right, all right, call her, but listen to me. I'm telling you, be careful. They know. They tap my phones, all right? Melissa. Who the fuck are you? Kill it, David. It's one of them. I don't know what you're talking about. Samantha called me and asked me to meet her here. Oh my God, you look just like me. David, did Samantha give you one of those plants? No, I, I don't know about any plant. Yes, and it smelled like shit, so I threw it in the trash. What the fuck are you doing? Why don't you know about the plant? Why? I don't know. Melissa, I'm me. Billy? Vicklin in the blue shirt is not the real Vicklin. He tricked me, called me, and told me to meet him here. Here's one of that. What are you talking about? I didn't call you. Now, who are you people? What the fuck is going on here? Melissa, shoot him. Shoot all of them. I'm me. This is the real Vicklin. Shoot him. I can't. <laughs> all right, hold on a second here. In about 30 seconds, I'm going to kill everybody in this room. Now, now who the fuck are you people? Who the fuck are you? Just shut up, okay? Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. did. Give me the gun. I'm gonna turn around and kill them. Don't do it! Just, don't be stupid! Get out of here! Run! Listen to me. I think it's the right Billy. Listen. I won't kill her. Give me the gun. Good. Now step back. You did the right thing, Melissa. You made it easier for all of us. It's easier than you think, Melissa. It won't hurt. We care about you. Don't make us do to you what we had to do to David. That was a, a painful death. And we're out for you a better way of life. That's all we need. Don't make me. No. no. <laughs> that wasn't so bad now, was it? Let's give it some privacy, shall we? It won't be long. Soon all the pain will be gone. When you are with us and you understand everything, you regret having put up a fight. You realize just how useless it all was. I know I did. No one is less important than anyone else. It was just something that had to be done. Not to you, but to everyone. Is it done? Get her. I know what she did earlier. I was trying to bring her in all day. Pete. Has it started yet? Yes, moments away. Good. <laughs> Not you too. They hurt you? No, but how? Listen, we gotta move. We gotta get out of here. Thank you. Let's go. I have to admit, your story seemed really far fetched until I had to shoot the slimy naked version of myself in the backseat. Well, what are we gonna do? We have to stop this. 
How? We don't know who to trust. Their pupils. They don't dilate. I noticed that when I was struggling with my double. Come on. Melissa! Wait. Melissa. Hold on. What the hell are you doing? She's all right. Yeah, it's her. Uh, what's your plan? These plants, they have to come from somewhere. We have to find them. Let's go. You gave me a key. I I've been trying to call you all week. You're not picking up. Stop. I know all about them. All about... All about who? Don't play stupid with me. I know all about it. Uh, okay, I really wish I understood what you were talking about right now. Yeah, understand this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, oh, calm down. Just calm down. No. Andrew or whoever the fuck you are. I've made it this far. I'm not going to let you get me. Okay, let's just talk about this. Don't come closer! Okay, I'm serious. You, what, you're gonna shoot me? I'm not gonna go to jail for shooting someone who's not real. <sighs> okay, I'm real, okay? I'm really Andrew, I'm really your boyfriend. I really love you. Don't come any closer. Let's just take it easy. It's me. Stop! It's me, I promise. Stop, please! Stop! <sighs> you made a mistake. I just wanted to help. We just wanted to help all of you. It's better our way, you know. Why do some of you reject this? You never should have come. Any of you! Something about getting some new information from his friend from the DEA. He didn't bring very much stuff. I wanted to bring as little as possible. This old life behind. I agree. Look, it's gonna be okay. We've made it this far. We're gonna get through it, I promise. I know. Everything's gonna be fine. So where are we headed? My dad has this cabin up in Big Sur, you know, near Monterey. Sounds good. Anywhere outside of creepy Cloneville is fine with me.
terrible news, Mom. No, Melissa is here with me now. What? Oh my god, Bailey, get out of the car. I can't do that. What? You don't think I'm the real Melissa, do you? What are you talking about? Let me out of the car. No. You're wrong. I am the real Melissa. The right Melissa. The better Melissa. Listen. I'm just gonna pull up right over here, okay? There's somebody I'd like you to meet. She can help you.